Shane Kirk, we have a five star pro media standing alongside Keen Kelly, fire champion, promoter, coach, gym owner, man of many talents. Um, Keen, talk to me tonight, how are you feeling? Yeah, it's great night, man. It's just fucking we wrapped up bang on 11 o'clock, like we said. Everyone says, I oh, won't get 20 fights done by 11 o'clock, and I always do, so everyone's happy. There's no, none of the fires are badly injured, so that's the main Once the fires are happy and the crowd leaves happy, then I'm happy, so. This is the sixth takeover now, so yeah. it's just gone from strength to strength to strength. What is it with the takeover and being out there? Like, it seems to get such support and passionate support as well. Like, it seems to be the difference of like, actually involved and cheering. And yeah, see, there's no, there's no other sh local shows around here. Like, the rest of the shows are always at the north side. The closest to be with Tala, so like, since we started them, it's just always been all my fighters live in the same point area. You know what I mean? Like, all within a fucking five minute drive of each other. So when I have the show smack bang in the middle, everyone just, yeah, it's just like, Everyone's fucking related to each other around here. I'm not sure we're cussing on this shit. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, they all just come together. And when I started the first time, it was kind of more just like, I matched everyone on my g in the gym, like 15 lads, and then they just all bought their families, just, and then it just keeps growing. And now it's getting to the stage where people are starting to travel from all over the country to us. So. Yeah, it's huge. A couple of special moments to me. Um, starting off with Johnny and Matino. Yeah. Talk me through that, because that, that was an amazing moment. Yeah. That was kind of like John's been in the gym with us now a couple of years. Like he comes down every three three times a week, and I'm telling him, and that, like if you see him the way he trains, like he's just he comes in and does what he's told and trains like full on solid. You wouldn't you never think of like in the way he puts the work in, and then he's just oh he's at me. I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to be like the lads, and now he's always he comes to all the fights with us and watches all the the fights and tries to replicate everything, just loves it, just and watches YouTube all day. That's the fellas in the room all day long watching clips of toy boxing. So I was I was a bit skeptical about putting it on because I thought if you didn't like kind of frown upon it, like, you know what I mean? Because it, it's but like I well, know him long enough and the, everyone he's more was, capable of Yeah, well, he's like, like I, I wouldn't have put it, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't think it was going to be all right. I mean, I'm a teen, I was trans with John, so it was all good. And then, he chased him, he wanted that. Yeah. We were speaking to him afterwards and he was saying that he changed his life and you know, the moment to me has, has, has made his life. Like, yeah. How does that feel knowing that people look to you like that? It's, it's madness. I really do think about that sometimes. Like John always, his man, his, or sorry, his dad, and his sisters and all are always saying to me like that. He, he, like, what we do down in the gym from, like, the, no, no more, no, no, nothing at all. That, like now other sports teams or youth clubs could get him as happy as he is. Like he, every day he wakes up waiting to go train. His whole week is just go train. And then his whole last two months was about to take over. And now he's going to be talking about it for the next six months. For the next one, I'll try him in the next one again. Yeah, so do, because I, 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 it's, I, it's, it's very hard along. with like Down syndrome people this age. And John doesn't look, doesn't look to like most of them will be going to schools with, with, with other Down syndrome kids and doing things like that. John is the type of person he doesn't, want, he doesn't see himself as having a disability. Yeah. So he likes to think, that's why he's like, why can't I fight in the Super Show in Cork? Why can't I fight in Cage Kings? So I have to we just keep telling him, build it up, build it up, and then we get him on a big show. Hopefully, maybe we can get him on one of the Cage Kings in a couple of years just for the crowd. Like, but See, was it that he'd be living for the next one now? Like, won't hear the end of that. Yeah, you won't get him in the gym now. But yeah, it's great because he puts a life in the gym. Like, if anyone's having, like, if there's a bad week in the gym, everyone can't wait or any injuries or anything like that. Like, once John's there, the yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's some goes in the gym with him. He's a funny little fucker, he is like, as well. So, you're not a brother then? Cool. I'm about the same kind of thing. He's been training with me since he, as long as he can remember. Like, so. Serious kicks? Yeah, yeah, yeah serious, serious, serious kicks. And he has a hard time with you. He hasn't fallen in a while. Like, that was his first really back in about a year because he's getting to that age where he's uh, hanging around with girls now. <laughs> he's now smelling the stuff. He's just yeah, dressing yeah, what he looks like. So, uh, his opponent went around tonight. He, he yeah, went forward. He's a big, his opponent was a lot bigger than him as well. Like, but uh, Coyle has that great mentality. Like, he just thinks he can be anyone. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's only 10 and he has that mentality, so it's great. Like, but, uh, Obviously, probably him. That's a great performance. International fight again. He's had a couple of international fights now as well, so that's great for him. Man. And then a kid who could be anybody. What an amazing time that fight is. Uh, uh, 16 yeah. years of age, like, and he's shown he the way that he Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's not, we don't really need to say much for him. Like, it's just, it's fight and speak to itself. Like, I don't, like, well, I always said this since day one, since his first ever fight, that he's the future. And he's kind of had a few ups and downs in his last couple of fights. He was beaten a couple of times and had, but like, at his, at his age, like, there's not many, there's not, like, that young lad he fought there, I think is like 19, 20. There's no one 16, 17 that can go with that. Like, there's yeah. no one his age, so that's why he's the fight man. Like, and that's, 
he hasn't got that man strength yet. That's what he's missing. Like, but that's coming slowly. Coming. And he showed a different side than the man can for Yeah, him. definitely. Yeah. He even said to us that he wanted to go there. And like, it's scary. Like, he has all the, the tricks in the book, but I'm just waiting for the man strength. Once that man strength, then the aggression comes into him. Like, I don't know. I think he's, he's definitely going to be world level. Yeah, with Dale, he's going to be world level. So yeah. like, he has everything. And he has the he's heart. The yeah, he, all, he lives in the gym. He, fucking, he, he teaches the kids in the gym. And then I teach the Abbott's class, so he's there from 4 o'clock right up to 10 o'clock every single day, like so, and he loves it. That seems to be the vibe with the gym, like people, when they go in, they don't want to leave. Yeah, like Warriors especially. Yeah, like. Warriors is a big, big family, I always try to keep it, like, we don't have any egos, I don't, I'm not into any of that shit, yeah. and people think they're better than you know, like, we knock all that before it even starts, like, so, everyone's a big family down there, like, I mean, and then everyone, like, the way, the system we have now is great, Darren and Connor teach the kids, and we come in there and teach the Abbott's, and it's great, like, you know what I mean, so. And just about yourself, Kim, um, making a transition to MMA, yeah. training with SVG and the likes of Connor and Woody and yeah. you know, John Hill's that. Yeah, that been? That's, that's, been, that's been crazy with the last, say, four or five months. Like, since I had that cage Kings fight, that's when I kind of made the decision. Like, I need to, for my own career, not, not just that. Like, I still am going to fight to Ibox and be involved. I'm about that decision. Why it's yeah. just like seeing that over the last three years, I've kind of seen the change in like, the media and all that, and now all the attention's gone down on so it's kind of, it's in one way for me, it's going to benefit the gym as well, like a lot, because we're getting a lot of exposure now, we get yeah. a lot, I'm getting a lot of exposure, and the more exposure I get, the more exposure the gym gets, so you, I'm you trying to go, I'm team being team. smart, marking myself, like most of us don't, I'm being smart, yeah. marking myself that way, so I'm in the MMA now, I'm in, kind of in with the little click, so loads of attention on me, loads of attention to the gym, just trying to keep that going, and whether I, I'm not trying my best to go as far as I can with the MMA, would still have warriors and still fight toy. Because like the more Is that hard? Juggling that at the yeah, moment? Yeah, very hard, but like once I when I have fights and I fights uh, lined up, like I'll take six weeks back from the gym. The lads like Darren and all that can look after the gym yeah. for six six weeks. And that's grand and like a couple of fights a year and I like, get a good name. But I wanna try and make money. I want I wanna make money to build to get a gym, I wanna buy a gym like yeah. a full time gym because it's hard when you're renting because I don't wanna pump too much money into it and then you get strong out there and so it's on the side of the yeah, gym. Yeah. yeah, I wanna get some I love to have a full time facility like that's just mine. And that once I have that, we we don't need like we want the retorium, we don't want to be fighting for having to fight for new wages like I'm four or something like that. Yeah, you won't be fighting on your own. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I know people say I'm not fighting for years now, I just wanna get a, a lot of fights in, get a good man, make a few quid and then retire as a coach in the gym. Very I mean that's that's my plan. So that's why I think I'm a good group. Because toy box now we end up fucking getting broke up for years before I get proper yeah. money like and even at that it's not gonna be enough money to with a with a kid in the way and all now so it's not gonna be enough. Yeah yeah so, so. Is there any really quickly any timeline on, on your fight or can you give us any insight into February is it? Yeah I don't know I can't say that yet that's you know, yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna be pro obviously as well. I don't know that's up to John Wick. You know to be honest with you like amateur we would rather amateur so can, if it's amateur we can fight like Four or five fights every three weeks because with pros don't think you're allowed. I don't know what way the safe and yeah. 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 If it's pro, like, I can only be a little bit slower. I'd love to have like, a couple of warm fights first and then go straight into the pro. Because like, if I go straight onto pro for my first fight, I'm probably going to be going against some lads who have a lot of fights. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't care, I don't care yeah. for you anyone, but it is about the record at the end of the day. Like, you have to kind of be careful with that thing. So. Yeah. Just before we finish up, Ken, here, anybody you want to thank or anything you want to say to anybody out there? People? There's so many people in the league to thank me. Mostly everyone in the gym that supports me, everyone, all my mates and family and all that. that there's like this endless amount of people that's unreal and all the support. I don't really, don't really realize that at times like this, but when I look back on all this, like, wow, the amount of people. And the people like you giving me drugs like this, this is what gets me name up. That's what we need people like this time. Uh, you're back we a fight, so. We won two years ago, I never got any, any exposure like this, like you was doing interviews and all that. That's great, like, that's only going That's what we need in Toy Box. That's what Toy Box and K1 needs. That's yeah. what people moan about the MMA getting all the exposure. It's because they get all that. And we're starting dragging that into Yeah, that's what we want. I want to bring all the, all the attention the MMA fans into the cage, Muay Toy. Like, they'll see me and they'll me and I'm bringing them all into the Muay Toy scene. Even there tonight, a lot of lads from SPG there watching. And they wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for me. So one dragon can never hooked on it. I'm just going to keep that going. Then I'm going to fight in MMA. I'm going to be fighting in MMA as a toy boxer. So people are going to be like, oh, okay, he's good. He's a toy boxer. Then toy boxing gets a good boot. Yeah, no, it's good. I think for martial arts and everything in the hall, it's very they are transitioning and, and bringing it all together. So myself, personally, thank you very much for doing thank that. You, Thanks for your time tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.